Hey guys, uh, I'm just wanting to do a little, something that I just kind of found out today, a little light bulb went on, a little uh, business comparison. I went and got some photocopying done uh, today, super happy with it, uh, got a bunch of color stuff as well as some um, other stuff that we just use pretty much annually uh, for the business, um, $88 for roughly 300, um, 300 uh, items to be printed, and it kind of got me thinking. Right, I got. I went there. I didn't do the photocopying myself. Um, I already emailed the guy to get some of it done, and then when I showed up, I I showed up with some other stuff, and I was like, "Hey, I totally forgot. I need some of this." And it actually was the bulk of the stuff. It was like um, two hundred and seventy items um, to be to be uh, printed or photocopied. So he's like, "Oh yeah, no problem. I'll do it right now." I was in and out of there in about five minutes, really quick. Now, it kind of got me thinking. I was only on site. For five minutes I was charged $88 I see time and time again people say in the snow removal industry that oh yeah I'm only on site for like five minutes insulting it's quick and they're charging uh 3x uh what a bag of salt costs um so so I kind of thought about it and I was like let's do a little comparison here between the businesses so so I got some notes here because I, I definitely wouldn't be able to remember all this so what was his cost for um, the paper? Um, obviously, he's me buying it in ridiculous bulk. I could find like twenty five hundred dollar, uh, sorry, twenty five um, hundred sheet boxes, and they were they were pretty affordable. It was essentially thirty five dollars for twenty five hundred sheets of paper. Uh, that works out to one point four cents each, quite cheap. Uh, so if I photocopied uh, roughly uh, three hundred items, yeah, I, I, it comes out to four dollars and twenty cents that's just paper so let's talk about the ink uh i don't know i've never worked at a photocopying place i did a couple of google searches it looks like you can buy ink anywhere from like 150 dollars to like 500 dollars. but let's be honest this ink is going to last for thousands tens of thousands of copies so it, let's just call it the same cost as um the paper so four dollars and twenty cents we'll even bump it up the total cost between ink and paper is ten dollars i was only there for five minutes he charged me $88. So going going to um, to compare that to snow removal, that's essentially if you had a very, very, very tiny site, uh, I do have these types of commercial or, or strata sites where you're only using one, one bag of salt. It's super small. Um, I definitely do not charge just one, two, or three X what salt price is. But uh, a bag of salt around here is $10. Uh, some of you guys are saying you charge 3x, so that means I'm charging $30. Now, the difference between the two businesses is that I, <laughs> photocopying shops are not open 24-7. You have to go to them during their hours of operation. Typically, it's from like 9 to 5. Maybe it's from like 7 to 3. But they have hours of operation. They're going to be closed on certain days where they don't have to do anything because they want to stay home with their families. And I don't really blame them. A snow removal company, when you're providing salting and, and snow removal services, we don't have that. We don't have hours of operation. We're on standby 24-7. Uh, furthermore, we're on standby for 24-7, but we're also responding at any hours of the day or night. It doesn't matter. Furthermore, I went to him. As a snow removal company, we go to you. So so the, the business models are completely different. Um so anyway, so, so going by what some of you guys say, that you charge 3x, uh, whatever your salting cost is. Okay, so this guy's charging, and this is immediate cost. I've got other costs involved uh, written down here that the print shop probably has. Again, I've never ran a print shop, so I'm sure I'm going to be missing some stuff. But a lot of it just cancels out when compared to a snow removal company. Um, but that's just co counting immediate costs. So for an $88 charge in print printing, the immediate cost is only going to be paper and ink, and that's going to total around $10. For salting, with you guys that are saying you charge 3x, uh, the immediate cost is $10, and you're going to be charging $30. Well, let's go ahead and now start diving into some of the other expenses that these these two businesses have. Some of them are the same, some of them are different. Does the snow, uh, sorry, does the print shop have liability insurance? I'm sure they do of some kind. 
Uh, so let's just call liability insurance the same for each because usually as a snow removal company, uh, you do something else. And what makes liability insurance expensive is the snow removal aspect. But the actual other portion of your business, whether it be a landscape business, possibly a construction business of some kind, uh, for us it's junk removal, it's relatively affordable. So the, the general liability insurance is going to be a wash. It's the same. Let's talk staffing. Someone that was there, like I said, I didn't do the photocopying myself. Someone did it for me. He was only on site, or sorry, he was on site uh, working with me for only five minutes. Yes, he might be there for eight hours, but he's busy doing other stuff during that whole time. Uh, so staff, uh, staffing costs, honestly, I don't think is going to be on par, but let's just say it is. Um, someone that works at a snow uh, removal company probably is going to get paid a lot more as an employee than someone that is doing photocopying for a uh, photocopying company. That's just a hunch. I'm willing to bet that the photocopying place does not pay their employees as much as I pay my staff uh, for snow removal, but let's just call it a wash, call it even. Uh, what else do I have uh, written down here as far as, uh, as a, co a comparison? That's kind of it. Like in all honesty, that's the same. Um, what's different is that the photocopying place is going to have um, photocopiers. Uh, there's going to be other printers of some kind, I don't know, laser or whatever. Those those items, uh, let's be honest, is, is as a photocopying business grows, they're going to get more photocopying equipment. Same thing goes with as a business snow removal company goes, they're going to get plows and salters for more trucks and they're going to keep going. So let's just call, uh, I looked it up, a photocopier ranges from anywhere from $2,000 to about $7,000. I'm sure you can get ones that are way more expensive, but just as a quick search for just a generic type photocopier. So let's just say that that value uh, cancels out um, a salter. Typically, salters are, you, you can't really find any for two grand brand new. Uh, a $5,000 salter does not touch base with a top end. Uh, sorry, a $5,000, yeah, $5,000 salter is not a top end salter. It's very entry level. Most of them are 10 grand or more. So I'm being very generous in saying that a, one printer uh, cancels out one salter. But you still, in a snow removal company, have to have other pieces of equipment, such as a plow and a truck. These are expenses that you don't have with a snow removal, or sorry, with a print shop. If you have a printer, you can print stuff. Yes, I understand you're going to need color printers and other stuff. That is the same thing, like I said, is as your business grows. So commercial grade plows start at 10 grand brand new, uh, and they can go up but quite a bit depending on what type of plow you're wanting. Um, so, so again, going back into comparison, if a printer and the amount number of printers that you have cancels out the salter or the number of salters you have, then a plow is an additional expense in a company comparison. Something that snow removal businesses have that, that this guy doesn't uh, is insurance on your trucks. For every truck that you have, you're going to have it insured every month. Usually it equals out to be about 300 bucks. For us, we've got seven, seven plow trucks, so that's $2,100 a month. That's something that this guy doesn't uh, have to pay. Uh, each truck, on average, I would say is valued at around $20,000. That's not very high. Like a lot of people run brand new equipment. I don't understand why you would do that in this industry, but they do. And I'm just using a $20,000 average cost for a piece of equipment. So, I mean, just my seven pieces of equipment at, uh, at 20 grand is $140,000 worth of equipment. Um, that's, that's just being fairly conservative. Um, he doesn't really have $140,000 worth of equipment, even if you have all these printers uh, that you count 10 of them in his shop or whatever. So it's more expensive to do a snow removal company. Uh, let's talk about what he has that we don't is he's, he's usually leasing a storefront. That is expensive. Um, does it bring it up to the total cost of a snow removal company? Definitely not. Um, I think the, the cost that you have as a snow removal company is exceptionally higher. Um, and then, uh, but, but, but odds are in a snow removal company, you are paying for some sort of storage. Are you paying, you know, $3,000 for a store or $5,000 for a store? Probably not. Um, but there's some people out there that are paying $500 a month for storage. They're paying a thousand, they're paying $2,500 a month for storage. It, it, it's not cheap. So, so the storage might be comparison. It might be a little bit more expensive for the store. I'm not too sure hundred percent, but, uh, overall, if you add all these things up, 
in my opinion, it's a lot more expensive to to have everything that you need to run a snow removal company when compared to a print shop. Something that a snow removal company has that they don't would be fuel. That could any be anywhere from like five hundred dollars a month to thousands of dollars a month on a on a heavy month of snow removal. So I don't know why anyone in their right mind would charge 3x their salt costs in a snow removal business when a print shop is charging over 8x their costs. Let's talk about now risk. So what happens if I take my stuff to get printed, he does a great job, it's all done properly, I accept it, I pay him, I leave, I use it, everything works out fine. Uh, nothing happens. There's no real risk of anything. I don't think there's a single lawsuit. Maybe there is, um, but I don't think there's a single lawsuit of someone suing a photocopying place over a paper cut or anything, really. Uh, yes, lawsuits do happen and lawsuits happen over stupid things, but I'm just saying the risk tolerance is probably pretty small. Therefore, their overall liability insurance is probably pretty cheap. Snow removal risk tolerance is, is, is exceptionally high. If we do everything right, we respond on time, we're quick and efficient, we do before and after pictures, we're documenting everything, we aren't over uh, overextended, uh, we're running the business very smoothly and methodically. If we do everything to a T, we are still at risk of something potentially happening with an incident or a slip and fall. And what's going to happen is that we are probably going to get pulled into it. And usually those lawsuits are for thousands, if not tens of thousands, possibly hundreds of thousands of dollars. So overall, looking at all of this and talking to the people uh, and, and hearing what people say about snow removal and what they charge. And, you know, I only I charge 3x uh, salting uh, prices or, oh, I can plow that place in 15 minutes. So I do it for 150 bucks. I don't, I, I can't wrap my head around it and I don't get it. Like people keep um, saying that, oh, well, it, you know, your area is different. It's not. They're, the prices that are happening in the East um, five years ago, yeah, they were completely different. Out to lunch, peanuts, I don't get it. I don't get why they, why anyone in the right mind would even be in the snow removal industry and charge what they were doing. But the tide has shifted over the last five years and there's companies over in the East that actually are charging a decent amount of money. But all seriousness, and I will be the first to admit that I don't know the numbers uh, 100% on running a uh, print shop. But in all seri seriousness, even if, and I don't think this is the case, but even if the total expenses that you have are equal with a snow removal company and a print shop, I don't know why anyone in the right mind would charge the same or less as a print shop when you're in the snow removal industry. It just doesn't make sense. If you're in the snow removal business to try and just keep your staff busy in the winter months, in all honesty, after after looking at this and analyzing it and everything, you might want to start a photocopying business. Something to think about. Because going by my quick math, it sounds like most of you guys would be more profitable and in a much less risky business if you'd made the switch. That's my two cents, guys. I hope you guys like and subscribe. Please comment down below if you have any questions, and I hope everyone's having a great day.